Gus Johnson will line up behind Brady Attaway in the pistol set. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Demons, no safety. They'll have four down linemen. Attaway will drop. Good protection. Throws to the deep middle. Intercepted Paxton Cook on the very first play from scrimmage. Cook drops right into the zone and picks it off. Returns it inside the 40 to the 37-yard line. Not a bad beginning there, Richard. And Northwestern does a really good job of disguising their coverages. That was a prime example. Got back into coverage right there. Made a big break on the football. First interception by a non-DB all year for the Demons. They'll start it at uh, quarterback Zach Adkins. 6'1", 195, the junior transfer from Riverside, California. One passing yard today, and he will become the all-time single-season passing leader in NSU history. Has 2,393 yards on the season, which is in a dead tie with Scott Stoker from 1988. Two receivers to either side. Garrett Atzenweiler is the back. Adkins drops. Good protection, throws to the corner. That one's intercepted right back and tackled by Ed Egan across the 25 of the 27-yard line. Trey Vallier, the strong safety out on coverage on the deep out, and so the team's trade picks on the very first place from scrimmage. We're one minute into your uh, Porter's Fine dry cleaning first quarter. We've already seen a pair of interceptions. Attaway will send three receivers to the right now as he takes Mike Brooks and puts him slot right among three receivers. One is to the left. That's Aaron Thomas, who's manned up on Fred Thomas. For second down and six for SFA at their own 44. Demons will bring three. Attaway, good protection. Now will slide out of the pocket to his right. Throw to the outside. Picked off Iman Claiborne. This one's going to the house. Iman Claiborne, the junior from Alexandria. Touchdown. Two picks on two drives. One defensive score. And the Demons lead it six to nothing. Well, that has been the Achilles heel, if you will, of uh, SFA. They have really turned the ball over in these types of situations. Great break on the football there by Claiborne. Really does a nice job of getting back up field. Tremendous, tremendous play by the team. Well, Lamont Claiborne has not had an interception all year, and that's because no one throws at him. Quite honestly, he's the second best, at least the second best quarterback in the Southland Conference behind Buki Sneed at Sam Houston. Claiborne gets his first pick and takes it to the house as the Demons take a six to nothing lead, and Chris Moore will come in to try to add the extra point. Good snap and hold kick on the way. And good. 13.26 left to go in your Porter's Fine Dry Cleaning first quarter. 7 to nothing. Demons lead. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network. I believe that's Chase Collins who is uh, the injured player. I believe it's six that is coming off the field. Collins from right here at uh, Natchitoches Central. So uh, I'll tell you what, a better crowd than I expected on hand for, uh, for such a windy, blustery day here at Turpin Stadium. So uh, congrats to everyone who came out to be a part of this one. And you've seen some fireworks, three picks on three straight possessions. First play pick for SFA, first play pick by the Demons. First, next, uh, well, they got a first down, then a pick by NSU return for a touchdown. Two receivers left, one to the right. Snap goes right over the head of Brady Attaway. He'll pick it up, the one loses it. Ball's in the end zone. Demons fall on it, did they? Nope, it's a safety. It rolled right back to Attaway in the end zone, and NSU gets a safety to take a 9 to nothing lead. DeMard Lorenz is in the ballgame, standing next to Adkins. SFA offsides, free play for the Demons. They're going to throw to the left corner. Caught, touchdown, Bryant Mitchell, and that will make Zach Adkins the leading passer in Northwestern State single season history, passing Scott Stoker from 1988. He already has the touchdowns record uh, set by Don Guidry in 1968. He already passed that last week. He's now got 19 TDs and 2,395 yards, and the Demons lead 15 to nothing. Well, I can tell you he is an excellent, excellent company there with uh, Scott Stoker, uh, just a tremendous player as well. And again, just great coverage at, at the top but he just he made a fake in there and it got to the outside and made a tremendous catch on the play. And to add the extra point, Chris Moore, up and good. 11-11 left to go in your Porter's Fine Dry Cleaning first quarter. 16 to nothing. Northwestern State leads just three minutes and 49 seconds in. But it is Pace Murphy. He's lined up at left tackle as a tight end along with Tucker Nims, an extra lineman in there. Handoff over left tackle. Garrett Atzenweiler's in the end zone. Touchdown, Demon. Boy, you can just see that play developing. Uh, Big Pace Murphy out there just really collapsing down. Nice block that time by Big Pace. I feel bad for Pace Murphy. I mean, you're having to switch jerseys as cold as it is out there. I wouldn't want to be taking my shirt off. So the Demons, who 
always operate out of that swinging gate formation on extra points. Bring it back in to line it up. And one of the things Jay Thomas told us about the swinging gate, he said the guys haven't been running it with enough emphasis. So they haven't been moving fast enough when they get back to the line of scrimmage to make it as much of a threat as he'd like it to be. The extra point is good. 12.48 left to go. And now your J&J &J exterminating second quarter, 23-7. Two receivers to either side. Rob Walker is the back in the backfield. Also his senior day for NSU. Second and five from the Lumberjack 23. Atkins looking left the whole way. He's going to throw, looking for Oye in the end zone. Touchdown, Demons! Beautiful pitch that time by Lewis Oye. I mean, really did a nice job. Just broke, nothing fancy, just broke right down the numbers. Just a, another wheel route, really. Just another wheel route. This time, except out of the backfield by a back, it was by the slot receiver. Absolutely. Really nice play that time by uh, uh, Oye with oh, the yeah. beautiful grab down the sideline on the wheel route. And NSU leads it 29 to 10. That is the second touchdown pass of the ball game for Zach Atkins. He becomes the first player in NSU history to throw 20 touchdowns in a single season. Chris Moore's extra point on the way and good. Minute 39 remaining. NSU second and six from the SFA 38, leading 30 to 17. Atkins drops, four-man rush, good pocket, throws to the middle, Lewis Oye, wide open, 20, 15, cuts it to the outside, 10, 5, touchdown, Demons! Lewis Oye from 38, his second TD grab of the day, and NSU takes a 36-17 lead. And Patrick, I can tell you that was a tremendous pitch and catch that time by Oye, did a really nice job getting across the middle and then in for the score. What a beautiful throw by Zach Atkins, a tremendous grab and run after the catch by Lewis Oye. The third touchdown throw of the first half for Zach Atkins. He now has 21 TD throws on the season, just obliterating the NSU single season record. Chris Moore's extra point is good. A minute 22 left to go. Cold, cold afternoon here. Well, you got that internal clock that's rolling in your mind, and you've just got to get rid of the football in a situation like that. 36-yard field goal attempt here for Chris Moore, who's 12 of 22 on the year. Good snap and hold, kick. That one's got the leg, and that one is good. Chris Moore answers the SFA field goal with one of his own. 518 left to go in the city of Natchitoches, third quarter, 40 to 27. As there is 1.6 seconds left, in this one, Demons are current, have currently been on a four-game losing streak in this battle for Chief Caddo series. Again, the last time they won it was 2008. But they are going to get Chief Caddo in this one. Hey, and Pat. Yes. I, I mean, I can tell you, uh, this is an emotional, emotional time for the Northwestern Demons. We're calling an illegal block in the back. So they're going to run 10 yards back, but that should run out the clock because there is no, I don't think they stopped the clock for that penalty. And they wind the clock and that'll do it. The Northwestern State Demons win Chief Caddo for the first time in five years. They will take the Chief back to the field house and this Demon team under first-year head coach Jay Thomas, gets to 500, and a tremendous finish to the season for the Northwestern State Demons as they defeat Stephen F. Austin, 40 to 27. Richard DeVargas, your thoughts? I tell you, Pat, this was just an amazing game, and the Northwestern Demons uh, absolutely deserve this one. Uh, amazing, the second half, we had six combined points after the Demons scored 16 points in the first 349. And the seniors for the Northwestern State Demons, plus some other guys, are headed to the end zone to grab Chief Caddo. Hey, and it wasn't like uh, we didn't have anything going on. No. I mean, this, these were teams that just bogged down in the red zone. Absolutely. Did it on uh, both ends of the field. And the Demon team heading over to Chief Caddo to celebrate. 
They lift him up, and they're going to bring him back out on the field, I think, and celebrate as the Demons have won the battle for Chief Caddo, improved to 500 on the year, 6-6, six and 3-4 six, and four in Southland Conference play, and SFA, a nightmare season, comes to an end. They finish 3-9, and 1-6 and six in Southland Conference play. Well,